Hi, and welcome back to another motivational moment with me, your coach, Michelle. Today's topic, you guys, is how to keep going even when you want to give up. This came to me, actually this is not what I really originally was going to talk about, but this actually came to me and I said, you know what, when I hear that voice whisper in my ear, I know it's something that I need to do. And so we're all born, we are all born to look for instant gratification. We just are, okay? Because in the ancient times, getting immediate benefits was essential for survival. We are very much present oriented and so when we're not getting what we want immediately, we get anxious and we want to give up. Mostly we get we want to give up. So yes, so once in a while, wanting to give up is normal. It is. All of us will feel that way. And if you say you have and you're telling a tale, because everybody at some point in time has wanted to give up on something, be it big, small, or in between. But giving up is not okay. It is never okay. What I like is when people decide, you know what, I'm going to ride this thing out. And I'm going to see where it takes me. Now, if you get to the end of where you're going and it doesn't take you anywhere, well, then guess what? You do have to just kind of go back to, you're going to give up that, what you're doing, to go back to the drawing board to figure out where you can make some changes. But to give up midstream is never, ever, ever a good thing to do because guess what here's the one thing I didn't have this in my notes but here's the one thing that will happen you will forever go through life wondering what if I had kept going and that's something that you don't want to deal with so for example Walt Disney and I you know I knew a lot about Walt Disney but for whatever reason I didn't know this but Walt Disney had been fired by a newspaper editor before because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas let me put a pen right there can you all imagine Walt Disney who designed this this wonderful theme park concept being fired for having no imagination and lacking any good ideas I mean is that just not the most ridiculous thing that you've ever heard but there was a time when he was but guess what he didn't let that stop him from seeing his dreams to the end. Even when people slammed the door in his face and said, oh, your park idea, that's never going to go over. Go find something else to do. He didn't give up. He kept going. Can you imagine if Walt Disney, now we, we probably would have some other theme parks right about now, but we wouldn't have the Disney park system if Walt Disney himself had said, okay, you know what? Everybody shoot me down. Nobody believes in me. Let me just give up. I'm just going to throw my hands up and keep it moving. And sometimes life is going to get like that. Life will get to a place where you are the only person that believes in you. But you have to keep going. Period. End of sentence. Now, the only way you give up is if you can see that you're headed down a road to a very, 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 very horrible end then yes you would give up or if God speaks to you and says okay you know what I know you want to do ABC but I really need you to do XYZ so then yes you would give up ABC to go do XYZ because you, the end result is going to be what you were looking for. It's just that he's taking you a different path to get there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I hope that that's, that's marinating in your spirit right now, that we're not giving up. Now, if he gave up, imagine and dream. If he gave up his imagining and dreaming about big ideas, he wouldn't have found the success that the Disney business has has uh, come into. Now, Walt Disney himself has been dead for many, many, many years, but the Disney name still lives on. His family is still able to benefit from his legacy. And the family that's, 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 you know, being born now, they will continue to carry this on for many, many, many years to come. And all because Walt Disney said, I'm not going to give up. I know what they're saying about me. Sometimes it probably wasn't just behind his back. They probably said it to his face too. But he said, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep going with what I know to be true and factual, what I believe in. And those people, let me tell you something. There are going to be things that you believe in. Not everybody's going to back you up on it. And that's all right because you don't need everybody in your corner. You step out there on faith. Ask God to bless what it is that you want to do. 
and then ask him to send on the people that you need to be right there with you along that path to success and I promise you he will send it you don't need everybody all you need is a few okay so if you give up now you're giving up the very bright future and great results that you will get so the consequences of giving up too early are let's jump right on there number one remember why you started and how much you really wanted it that if you don't remember anything else I tell you today I need you to, to remember why you started if you have headed down the path to success with whatever area it is of your life that you're trying to achieve and things have gotten rough you've gotten pushed off track and 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 it just seems like you're just all over the place i need you to sit down and remember why you started see because if you remember why you started i guarantee you you won't want to give up so think back to the moment your idea was conceived go back to the beginning I'm sorry, going back to the beginning brings into focus the purpose for what it is that you're trying to do. Number two, look into the reason why you want to give up. There's a reason why. There are many reasons why you may want to quit. Be diligent in figuring out what the real issues are and tackle them specifically. Once you see what is causing the feeling, then you can address it. Is it lack of, of imagination? Is it lack of caring? Is it lack of enthusiasm? Is it lack of, of willpower? Whatever the case may be, you need to figure out why is it that you want to give up? Or are you giving up because you, you see something better over here to my left, your right? Or, or, or something better to my right, your left? Only you know that. Number three, picture in your mind the ultimate result. I don't know about you, but anytime I start a new project, Number one, I'm going to pray on it. That's first and foremost. That's always. I am going to pray on it. And then I'm going to plan out the steps I need to take to get to where it is I'm trying to go. But then I also think about the end result. The end result is what stays in my mind. Because I know that if I keep the end result in my mind, I'm going to stick to what it is that I'm trying to do. So keep in your mind the picture of the end result, a visualization of what you want to accomplish. You will keep moving forward. The feeling of being a quitter isn't a very pleasant feeling at all. I know it isn't for me. You are a winner. Can I say that one more time, y'all? You, yeah, I'm talking to you. No, 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 not I'm, all of you. I'm talking to all of you, so don't look around. I'm talking to everybody. You are a winner. And don't you ever let anybody tell you otherwise. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Don't you ever let anybody tell you that you are not a winner. And if anybody tries to tell you that, you tell them to come see me. Yes, I'm big enough and I'm bad enough to deal with it because I said you are a winner. God says that we are winners. You're not a loser. I don't care what people say to you. You just smile at them, look at them like this, honey, and keep it moving. Mm. Remember this slogan, the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. I don't know about you all, but I want to experience the thrill of victory, not the agony of defeat. Whenever you want to quit, ask yourself, do you want the thrill of victory or would you rather the agony of defeat? Press on. You can do this. You really can. Even if, even if you have to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, you know what? I laid out all these plans to do all of these things and it's just this 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 right here is just too much so let me bring it in just a little bit and work with these plans right here and then once I get this done then I can step out a little bit further and a little bit further and a little bit further do you understand what I'm saying don't try to take on too much because then you will really get overwhelmed this is how you can stay motivated and persevere even during the difficult times you have got to tell yourself that the thrill of the victory is so worth it that you're willing to go down that uh, unpaved road to get to where it is that you want to be. Mm. Number four, make a plan and have a backup. Before you undertake anything, always have a plan of action. This is why I'm always telling you guys, you have got to write down what it is that you want to accomplish. Because if you just jump out there with the, ta-da, here I am, I'm going to do ABC and XYZ, but you have no plan written out, when stuff starts to fall apart, because it will, 
you've got nothing to go back to. So you have to have a plan of action. And there are various ways that this can be done. You can write out a list. You can make a breakout chart or form a checklist for tasks that need to be completed along the way. But by having a plan in place, when you feel like giving up, you can look at the plan, you can refocus on the steps needed to reach the goal. When I have my plan in place, is this my, uh, yes, this is my vision book for 2021. So all the plans and things I want to accomplish for this year are in this book, okay? They're in this book, and I can go to that tab that says my business, and I can look on here and say, okay, which of these things have I done, and check them off. Or I can look at that, that section and say, okay, are these things that I really still want to do? Because maybe it sounded good last year, but, but, but my focus has changed a little bit, so I need to, you know, kind of tweak those plans just a little bit. But if you don't write it down, how are you going to do that? Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Anywho, also have a black a backup plan in mind before you begin. This way, when you're frustrated, you want to give up, you have an alternative plan to put in action because life will knock you down. But don't you dare give up. Life will knock you down. Let me tell you something. You can be going along and everything is just fine and all of a sudden bam life hits you and just knocks you right on over and if you don't have a plan b and dare i say it a plan c d and e probably you're just going to be washed out it's like the wave that comes in and and uh, you know when the, the tide starts to break and that wave comes in and you have that beautiful sand castle built on the on the beach but the wave comes in and then drags it right on out it's gone this is why you have to have a backup plan. So if I'm on plan A, and plan A is not working out quite the way I thought it would, I can now say, well, that's all right. I'm going to go to plan B. I can come back to A, but I have B to go to for now. And then if B's not working out, I can go to plan C and still come back to plan B and A. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you have to have a backup plan. Number five, find support from other people. Don't isolate yourself or hide your feelings of frustration and don't be afraid to seek support from others. You you guys, let me tell you something. I know, I know, I know, I know. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. You say, but Michelle, I don't want everybody to know my plans. I want them to see the outcome, but I want to go through this by myself. But can I just tell you something, honey? In life, we don't go through anything by ourselves. There's somebody always there with us. So what I need you to do is not sit back and try to take all this on by yourself because it can be so frustrating. So you need to have a family member, a friend, a co-worker, online groups that you're part of, church members, your pastor, ministries you're part of, or somebody that you can talk to. This is why as a life coach, I have people that come and talk to me about their issues. I'm not, I'm not there to judge. That's not my job. You tell me what's going on with your life, I'm just going to listen. Now I'm going to make notes because that's just how I work. But as you're talking, I'm making notes. And then I can say, okay, well, let's go back to the top of the list. Now, you, you first, you mentioned ABC. And you mentioned XYZ along with that. So I'm going to help you figure that out. And we're just going to go down your list, and I'm going to help you figure out what it, whatever it is that you're having a problem in. I'm going to help you figure that thing out. But if you don't have somebody that you can talk to, then, I mean, what do you do, you know? So this is why if you watched my Catch Up With Me video on Monday, I talked about getting on my calendar. You can have 30 minutes of my time free of charge to talk to me about whatever's going on in your life, whatever it is that you need help with, whatever it is that you need. Just, you know, you need somebody to have your back on. Call me. Let's talk. 30 minutes can go by quick, but sometimes they can drag on for a long time, too. So just reach out and call me, and let's talk about how we can get you set up with, or I can provide the support that you need in terms of. Now, I may not be able to help you out financially, but, you know, I can still surprise, uh, provide that support that you need to, to just listen to you. Number six, be grateful for the good things while you're struggling. 
Mm. Regardless of where you are in your process, it is important that you're always grateful. Let me put a pen right here. It doesn't matter if everything from the ceiling has just crashed to the floor. You need to be grateful. I know you said, but Michelle, why? Gr grateful for what? Well, let me start calling the roll. Even if that business idea didn't work out or that job you were applying for didn't work out, guess what? God woke you up this morning. Amen. He tapped you on your shoulder and said, all right, it's time for you to get up. I have work for you to do. God woke you up with a roof over your head. He woke you up with your vehicle sitting outside in front of your house, in your driveway, where you park it, in your garage. Doesn't matter to me. But you, you have a vehicle that you can go to. Yes. God woke you up with all of your mental faculties together. He didn't send you to bed and you were well within your mind, but you woke up and you were just scatterbraining all over the place. So you need to be thankful for what you already have. And I know for me, I am always quick to say, Lord, I may not have all of the things that I want to have, or I may not have all that I've asked you for, but I am thankful for what you've given me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I have a great family, both far and near. I have great friends. I have a, a, a YouTube channel that I love doing motivational videos for. I'm a part of Circle of Champions with a wonderful group of people with an awesome, with two awesome mentors. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I am grateful. I always say, Lord, if you don't do anything else for me, I'm still going to be grateful. So learn to be grateful with what you have and where you are as you work towards getting to where you want to be. Mm. All right, I'm sorry, I done lost my, myself here. Let me go back to where I was. Okay, whenever you feel like giving up, stop and make a list of the things that you're grateful for in your life. You have so much positivity in your life to be thankful for. The way you look at the situations around you depends on the attitude with which you view them. Okay? The way you look at what's going on around you depends on the attitude with which you review them mm, that's deep right there that that that's deep take on an attitude of gratitude and you will be amazed at the difference it makes number seven celebrate your victories no matter how small they seem you should acknowledge all the victories one second all the victories that you have made along the way Instead of feeling overwhelmed at all that you have left to do, write out a list of the accomplishments that you've completed, no matter how small or how big they may seem. See, by celebrating your progress, you will renew your energy to complete what you're doing. When you see all that you've done, you will exc it will excite you to take further action until the finish line. Don't give up. That is the thing. You cannot give up. And number eight have motivational reminders everywhere y'all this is my favorite keep your favorite motivational quotes around you and then i need you to look at them every day every day i have motivational quotes that i save in my phone and every day i look at them if not all of them at least one or two of them keep them where you can always see them and recite them as often as you need to so your takeaway from today is this never give up no matter what no matter what, you don't give up. Giving up is never an option. Do you do you all hear what I'm saying? Giving up is never an option. Now, let me say this. Pause right there. Because there will come a time where you're going to have to give up what you're doing. However and because, if it's not because somebody's hurting, somebody's in danger, you keep going. If you've done all you can, like the song says, after you've done all you can, you just stand. Mm, that's powerful but but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time otherwise you need to keep going let me do a quick recap and i promise i will let you be so today today's motivational moment we talked about how to keep going when you want to give up because we all have been there and some of us are probably there right now so number one i said remember why you started and how much you really wanted that thing Number two, look into the reason why you want to give up. Define why is it that you want to give up. What's going on that makes you want to give up? Number three, picture in your mind the ultimate result. 
I need you to close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. You all know it's where you breathe in through your nose, let your stomach extend out, and then slowly breathe out of the nose. And then I need you to see the end result. Because if you can keep the end result in the forefront of your mind, I promise you, you won't want to give up. Number four, I said, make a plan and have a, a backup. Sometimes it's all right to have several backups. You have as many backups as you think you need, but you definitely need a plan, but you always have to have a backup. Number five, find support from other people. There are other people around you that can provide you with support. You just have to lean on them. You have to reach out to them because they're not going to necessarily know that you need their support. So open your mouth, stop being afraid, and learn to lean on other people. It's all right to do that because guess what? The same people that you have to lean on, they have somebody that they lean on. Number six, be grateful for the good things while you're struggling. So, you know, I, I could just talk all day about this. No matter what's going on in your life or what you're dealing with, honey, you need to be grateful for what you already have. Like I said, if God doesn't do anything else for you, doesn't give you anything else, you need to be thankful for what you already have because somewhere somebody is looking at what you have saying, wow, I wish I had that. And they're trying to get something else. No, be thankful for what you already have. Mm. And number seven, celebrate your victories no matter how small they seem. So that's just like if I get on a scale and I've only lost a pound and a half, guess what? I'm going to celebrate that. You know why? Because it's a loss. I didn't gain weight. I lost weight. So it may not seem like a lot to most people, but I'm going to take it. I don't care if it's just a half a pound. A half a pound is putting me closer to my goal instead of further away from it. So you've got to learn to celebrate even the smallest victories. And number eight, last but not least, have last but not least, have motivational reminders everywhere. You should have quotes around you that you can refer to. And I'm just gonna say this: it doesn't even have to be quotes. Some of y'all might need to. Well, my Bible's on my iPad, but some of y'all might need to keep your Bible close by so that you can go in and read God's Word as He talks about blessing us and keeping us and all that other great stuff whatever it is that you need keep it right there with you so that when you start to feel down and out and you start just beating yourself up you can go and read something positive you guys that's all i have i want to say thank you so much i hope something i said helps you or helps someone that you know please feel free to share this video subscribe if you have not already done so for my new subscribers thank you so very much for stopping by i truly appreciate it for those of you that continue to support me in all that i do i love you all to the moon and back you know the drill you know my spiel it's nothing you can do about it because I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm even going to love you when nobody else even likes you. I'm going to have your back when nobody else has your back. I will be that ear that you need to listen to whatever it is that you're dealing with. Get on my calendar, though. So, you guys, that's all I have. But I, as you go away, I want you all to be the reason that someone feels welcomed, someone feels seen, someone feels heard, someone feels valued, someone feels loved, and someone feels supported. Until our next motivational moment, take care.